Despite mostly positive reviews, Vanquish is a game that few people bought, not even in its home country of Japan. And yet the game has a dedicated group of fans that champion it as a lost classic. It seems Sega has finally heard their cries because Vanquish has been given an honest to god PC port, available today. Which means the game now has the second chance it deserves to impress all the people it passed by the first time along with any newcomers. And off I go. So why is Vanquish so beloved? At face value, it's a third-person cover-based shooter with a muted color palette that came out during a time when the market was oversaturated with these kinds of games. And being created by a Japanese developer, some saw it as an example of a studio westernizing to appeal to a larger audience. But the reality is that Vanquish is a game that uses the framework of a cover-based shooter, something that everyone is familiar with, as a Trojan horse for its own unique take on the genre. This game is a collaboration between Shinji Mikami, best known for Resident Evil, and Platinum Games, the studio behind Bayonetta. And that's really the best way to describe this game. You have a shooter that blends its mechanics with the sensibilities of a character action game. The fluid chaining of movements together to avoid damage while also dishing it out yourself. And the all-important scoring system. You can try and play Vanquish like Gears of War, sitting behind chest I cover, popping out to shoot some dudes, and get some headshots but it's far more exhilarating when you take the game's two main mechanics, the rocket slide and the time-slowing AR mode, and begin to combine them in all sorts of ways. Hop over cover and go into AR mode to get that guy you couldn't hit before. Rocket slide around the field to flank a boss. Throw a grenade and then slow down to shoot it at just the right moment. And then try using your rockets to butt slide into a robot, kick him in the face, and then shoot him. When you begin to take advantage of everything you have available, you really start to take in the spectacle and how it just never slows down. Vanquish is a game where you feel cool playing it. Enemy transport ship nearing your position. And while Vanquish is a top-notch experience to play, it's wrapped in a narrative that I can only describe as wonderful Japanese B-tier kitsch. Lies must be looking to get swatted. Bravo, time to recycle these tin The story involves Russians and their army of robots capturing a massive space station colony and using its solar energy as a makeshift weapon to fry America's cities. So, the President of the United States sends in a task force of Marines along with protagonist and Solid Snake wannabe Sam Gideon to stop them. Sam is equipped with the augmented reality suit, which is what allows him to butt slide to his heart's content. All of this happens within the first 10 minutes, which may seem like a lot, but the majority of the game is a simplistic trek through the station from one set piece to the next, with plenty of action-packed cutscenes and cheesy dialogue reminiscent of 80s action movies. The two characters who talk the most, Sam and Lieutenant Colonel Robert Burns, spend the whole time trying to outgravel each other. Vanquish's tongue-in-cheek nature was really a wonderful contrast at the time to all the games that took their stories very seriously. I'm getting good at this falling out of transports thing, don't you think? More like getting good at looking like an asshole. Vanquish comes with a style that sounds really dumb on paper, but the best kind of overtop in its execution. The rocket-powered butt slide is the most obvious example of its quirky personality, but subtle stuff as well, like the way your gun transforms, or a button that lets you smoke a cigarette. And that cigarette actually becomes an important tactical option in later difficulties because it draws enemy fire away from you. It's stuff like this that makes Vanquish so beloved. It represents a type of Japanese B-game that had been slowly dying during this time. To see it sell poorly meant games like Vanquish would become more of a rarity, which is why it's so exciting that the game has been given a second chance on Steam. While the port may not be a true remaster, being able to experience Vanquish past its original 30 FPS limit at a now unlocked frame rate only increases the sense of chaotic speed and allows for better handling and precision.
Vanquish was never going to take the world by storm when it first came out. But now in 2017, speed and mobility in first person shooters is back with games like Titanfall 2 combining wall running and fast gunplay to make an exhilarating game. And Vanquish's slide and shoot style fits right at home as the third person shooter equivalent. It's really telling how much Vanquish was ahead of its time in that in the seven years since its release, its unique mobility and breakneck pace has never really been copied by other games, which means it holds up really well. Now is the perfect time for Vanquish to make the comeback it deserves.